Hello beautiful friends, thank you for joining me, it's Annalisa and welcome to Let's Pick a Card Reading. So, this is a, a mini kind of read and it's looking into where, where you feel you're at, where you feel you want to move towards and how you can get there. So, you can listen to the first few cards and see if they resonate. And, and take the advice if it feels good to you. So, simple reading, three piles. Uh, we have quartz with uh, chlor chloride, quartz with chloride, I think it is, and amethyst and a, a clear quartz crystal. So, pick your pile and let's see what it says. So number one, where you're at, we have the maiden, cute, where you want to be, singer of the chalice, yes, I think we all want to be there, and how to get there, the death card, okay, so you may be feeling quite vulnerable at the moment, you may be feeling exposed, something new, maybe starting something new, a new venture, a new project, a new job, new relationship some kind of change and uh, or, or somewhere where you feel like you might not have experience you may feel like you don't have a lot of information or skill or the um, insight the practical ability to start something you may be feeling like you you might be quite excited about this new beginning you might be looking forward to it um, you may be feeling a bit giddy, but at the same time, feeling a bit kind of uncertain. And um, it's very, I mean, this is such a sweet, a sweet little group because the singer of the chalice, where you want to be, is just happy. You just want to be happy and be joyful and have fun and enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, enjoy what you're doing. And I feel like you're stepping out to try something different or new or or restart something, a new beginning, and you, you just want to make it work. You just want to be happy, and you just want to not just be happy, you want to be deeply happy, deeply satisfied, content, excited, exhilarated, exuberant, creative. You want real passion and fire and life and fun, playfulness, and you really want it to, to go really well. You want it to be uh, just pure joy. How to get there. The death card. So what I feel this is saying is that you need to fully surrender your um, ego. It's the death of the ego. It's the death of the I. The, what I think I know. What I think I understand. What I, what I think I perceive about myself or about my life or about the situation and to just let go of expectations, let go of plans, let go of uh, just everything. You just allow everything to die and be completely open. And I feel like you, you're kind of in this place and it's just embracing this, this new place and, and fully leaving behind you what is gone and what is finished and what is ended. This, you know, this has died something has died for this new beginning, um, whether this is an aspect of yourself or a, a previous situation or um, a job or a mindset, whatever it is, something has died and it's to fully let it die, just, just let it go, you know, it's done, there's, there's nothing left in it anymore, there's nothing to get from it, um, there's always a gift but I feel like you received this gift already. You've got this pearl, this wisdom, this insight. You've received that. Know you have that. Trust you have that. And just to allow yourself to play. Just be playful. And I feel like lightness of spirit and playfulness is going to, to carry you into this, into this joy and into this moment and into this celebration. Mm, with the death card as well, the five and the eight is infinity. And I feel like... Um, 
this is a reminder that this is a constant process. The death process is ongoing. So we are constantly shedding layers, shedding thoughts, shedding perceptions. And it's only when we do that that we can fully step into being a new person, a new life, and be what we want to be. And if you've been in through some kind of difficult process, the ending, the death process can be very painful, can be traumatic, stressful, feel like a burden. And when we, you know, that's, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, that, that kind of heaviness is part of it. I think is what I want to say. It's just that's just part of the process, um, but it's almost allowing the death to die, and allowing that struggle to die, and just embrace embrace the embrace the vulnerability. Because um, when you allow yourself to play and be joyful like this, then you're going to bring in more play and more joy. And when you can stay in this unknown space and in this place of possibilities endless possibilities then you attract possibility when you have a very fixed mindset or a fixed idea about things then you can only bring in those ideas and those fixations and it can get you stuck and that can create this heaviness and that's what needs to be let go of um the and embracing the the unknown of your new new journey and your new life and trusting that this is this is going to come because you've already I feel like you've already done the work you know you've already done this you've already you've already died <laughs> you know you've already let it die so you're you're just moving forward towards this joy now okay if you've been through a really difficult time then just know that happiness is coming joy is coming celebration warmth love passion the sun the sun is coming out for you Okay, so allow this brightness and this divinity and this warmth to fill you. Breathe and breathe. Breathing in. And releasing for your breath. Focus on your breath. This will really help. Circular, some circular breathing. Okay, thank you so much group number one. I hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe. You can book me below for a, a private reading. Or right, I look forward to seeing you again another time. Hi group number number two, welcome. And let's see where you are. The singer of courage. Where you want to be, the friends, and how to get there. Iris of the rainbow. Okay. So it feels like you need to be strong at the moment. You need to really hold something within you, hold some kind of um, inner, inner, inner strength, like an inner discipline, like really holding on to your core, really staying grounded, staying rooted. It, it might feel like quite a struggle, like it's quite hard to, um, to be brave. I feel like there may be some sadness, some grief, some loss, and you're really needing to hold on um, to stay um, connected to, to the earth. You're, it's, like a, it's kind of hard at the moment. And because what you're really looking for is this peace, this sense of peace, I feel. And with the friends, it's like support as well. It's like you really want to feel connected and supported by other people and you want to be um, held and, and loved and appreciated and, um, and carried you know you want to move up you want to move up you don't want to be kind of slogging away and you know this is divine angelic energy this strength but it's like I need a break you know that's I've got that you know I've done that I know I can do this now I just want to be lifted I want some support to to rise and to to um come up into into myself and into life and and to do it joyfully 
to do it in in a partnership or a group like with people and feel this need for others and to feel confident and proud of yourself to you know hold your chin up regardless of the situation there may be darkness or struggles around but you want to hold your hold your head up and feel supported within that and feel strong within that and the guidance for you and how to get there is beautiful. This is Iris of the Rainbows. And this is all about the, the rainbow that comes out after the storm. So you may have been through a storm. You may have been through torrential rain, wind, emotion, thoughts, battles, ideas. It may have been destructive. And a lot of your life might feel like it's been blown around and washed away. But the spirit wants you to know that that is in the past, that the, the rainbow is coming out now. Now the, the clouds are parting, the sun is coming through, the ground is drying, and you are surrounded. You're actually surrounded by so many people who can support you and help you. And that you know, they're all with different roles and different jobs. There's so many who are here. You can see, you can see this girl at the bottom. There's um, some like frog maiden and she's got a, a bubble here and Iris is just resting and it's just that support, you know, resting in that energy, in that holding that energy, holding that space and that potential is just resting there. And we've got Cupid's arrow coming in, you know, love, like direct the heart, like bringing in warmth and love and connection in the heart and it's focused you know there's a real focus and direction to this i think storm you know storms can really clear clear the mind and clear the focus to know where you want to go and how you want to be held and again there's another like creature froggy kind of being holding the bubbles holding all this potential and iris is here and i feel like this is you just catching this rainbow in your hand and Again, like it's a little arrow, this like love arrow, direct arrow. And I feel like this is from spirit, from heaven, really bringing in this, this hope and this joy and this light that's coming in. So spirit wants you to know just to, to trust those around you, that they have your best interests and they are supporting you. And I'm just seeing this little guy down here as well who's really having a, a bit of a giggle. Um... I feel like maybe there is some kind of male, maybe an older male who's going to just help kind of lighten the mood. They just laugh about things, like laugh about everything you've been through. It's just going to help. Um, and um, yeah, just just um, know that, that you're moving forward, really moving forward and that you have been, it's like you've been through the worst of it. You've been through it now. There's a break now. And there may be more challenges, you know, life is going to be more challenges, but know that the light is here and the hope is here and the sun is here to, to give you a break right now. You're, you're going to have a break. And um, anything else? Also, you know, you're just you're just holding a lot of potential right now. You're holding the ability to manifest and create a lot of different things, and you've got this this touch where you can you can also bring this to others. I feel like this um this lightness and this hope, and and it's like you know with the friends, it's not it's not always one has to support the other. It's you know it's a, a rotation. And you take turns, and so you you may be about to receive some support or about to receive some help. You may be offering it. You may be the one who wants to to give the support or give the light or bring the hope, bring the rainbow. And it's it's really this hope, this light of hope that is going to to transform your situation and help you come out of struggle. Like the, just focusing on the kind of possibility and the celebration okay so that's my message for you group number two i hope that was helpful please give me a like or subscribe if you're new welcome to me 
and um, if you'd like a private reading, you'd like something more personalized, then you can get my details below. And thank you for tuning in. I'll speak to you again soon. Okay, group number three, thank you for tuning in. And let's see where you are. We have the green woman. And where you want to be, a collective of pixies. And how to get there, the oak men. Mm, okay. Beautiful. So actually, I feel like you've come into some kind of strength or passion recently. You may be feeling quite independent, quite um, creative, a bit wild. Maybe you've set something free in yourself that you're just feeling a bit of um, like abandoned, like a, what's that word? Like wild abandon, this kind of playful aliveness, like this kind of new life that's come into you. And I'm feeling connected to more connected to the flow of, of nature, of life, of being really part of the, the expanse and movement of existence. And also, I'm just feeling this sense of protection. Like you wanna hold something and keep something, or you are holding something or protecting something and keeping it really, really, really precious. And really, um, like this thing feels like it could be quite wild. Uh, this thing that you're holding, it feels like it could be a bit crazy um, or feel a bit crazy or feel a bit mad. Um, and you're kind of a bit cheeky about it. It's like, well, I'm just going to hold on to this. I'm holding on to it. And I feel like um, with the wanting to move into a collective of pixies, this is all about team, working as a team and working as a group and being connected to community. And it feels like you want to go from this protective kind of space into this community group kind of space and I feel like you're kind of like feeling kind of there's almost like a defensiveness about it this thing you want to hold on to and it's like you can see here like her hands are kind of down and held and protecting the, the heart space. She, she protects the home and the hearth. And here, this is about like arms in the air, like this kind of free, wild, open. So it feels like you want to let go and, and just open your arms, just like raise them up and just, you know, rejoice, celebrate, dance, be, be free, be free. And you may be feeling like a bit too rigid almost with your, with your hands down protecting your heart or heart space. The advice in how to move to where you want to go is um, the Oakman. This is all about deep wisdom and inner knowing. It's about the elders, wisdom of the elders. And with this card, you can be advised to seek out wisdom from um, People who have experienced your situation before, who have maybe been through life. This can be parents, grandparents, or just respected older people, or um, spiritual leaders or teachers. Um, any kind of people you respect, like someone you really respect in the field of whatever you're dealing with, whether it's to do with work or home or relationship. Who do you really respect? Who do you admire? Who, um, who, who kind of inspires your, your life, how you want to live your life. And looking to that wisdom and looking to that perspective, because um, this may be a situation where you need actually some advice or some input from, from someone with some more experience than you. And they, they may give you a, a, a new understanding or a new way of seeing things. Because with this card, with the eyes, the, um, the author of these cards, he, he tried different colours for the eyes and he was fascinated by how people projected different personalities or 
um, expectations of this character with the different eye colors. And it's all about just, you know, how we see things and seeing things differently. And so it may be there's a, a different perspective or a new way of seeing your situation that is actually going to allow you to feel free, allow you to feel the freedom um, and the, the kind of rejoicing. Because and there's, there's this kind of wildness in both of these. There is this kind of um, free playfulness. Um, I do feel it's about like letting go of, of this kind of protective stance. So um, maybe how to do that, how to let go, you need like some help or some advice from someone. Or this may be, you know, if you have um, a deep connection with your, your higher self or some spirit guides, you may want to call on, on them or the oak men. You can call in the oak men themselves, the, the trees, the being, tree beings, and receive their energy, their inspiration, or a message from them. You may want to go into woodland, connect with a tree, um, and, and feel that stillness of a, a tree. You know, the trees, they, they watch time pass, they watch the world spin, they're very patient, they aren't swayed by um, fast pace of, of life, especially contemporary life. And they have this perspective of seeing things over time and, and that being that ability to step back and watch as the world turns and transforms just on its own. You know, the seasons just move all on their own cycles just transform and change so you may want to step back from your situation and and look at it with a perspective of of time so that's my message group number three if you liked it please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you'd like some more specific advice to your situation please book a personal reading the information is below Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to speaking to you again another time.